what's going on. We are going to dive in depth on how to buy some Zelda Inu today. So guys, let's get right into this, make this as quick as possible. Um, so you're going to want to download your trust wallet. You'll see that on the left with the shield that says trust. Um, you can download that in any app store or whatnot. So download that, open up your trust wallet. Uh, from there, guys, we are going to want to add Zelda Inu to your wallet. So you'll see in the top right corner, um, you're going to want to click that and then put in your Zelda Inu address right in the search bar. Nothing will pop up, so we're going to hit search and then add custom token. All right, guys, from there, we're going to want to click our network, and that's going to be Binance Smart Chain. We're going to add our contact contract address, and there we go, guys. Zelda Inu is in there. We're going to hit save, top right corner, and there we go, guys. Zelda Inu is now in your wallet. Step one is finished. So, guys, you're going to want to make sure um, that Zelda Inu is added after you add it. So... Um, so second step guys, you're going to want to add BNB to your wallet. So BNB, you'll see with the yellow shield, you're going to want to add. Um, after you add BNB, you're going to click it and you are going to click swap. Um, from there, you're going to swap to Smart Chain. So you need BNB Smart Chain to buy Zelda Inu. From there, you're going to click above and put in how much you want to swap and then you'll click swap below and your money will go to smart chain so now you can see at the top we have our smart chain and we are ready to buy some zelda inu so let's head out of the trust wallet now and go over to pancake swap the exchange where you buy zelda inu so we're going to click in google type in pancake swap and we got a couple of searches that pop up here, guys. We are going to click on the second one down because it is the home screen and we want to take you guys from the beginning and show you everything. So click on the second one. And from there, you're going to see top right corner, guys. You're going to have a wallet or connect wallet button. So you're going to click that. From there, I like to hit wallet connect and then click trust wallet it's going to open up in your trust wallet ask to connect to pancake swap you click connect and then head back over to your browser to pancake swap all right guys from there you're going to see trade in the bottom left corner click that and that is going to take you to where you buy your zelda inu so guys you'll see now our bnb shows our value and uh, even though it is a yellow icon, it is smart chain. So next we need to add Zelda Inu. So you're gonna click where it says cake. And from there, you're gonna put your address of Zelda Inu, the contract address in there again. And I've already added it. So, but normally it'll say import, then it'll take you to your wallet to okay it and then bring you back to pancake swap. Okay, so now you have added Zelda Inu. You're gonna find it under your token list. And there we go at the bottom, Zelda Inu. So take a click. And now you are ready to purchase your Zelda Inu, guys. So next you are going to see a little gear icon at the top of the uh, right to swap. Trigger, shut up. Fireworks. So guys, click that gear icon and that is going to um, help you change the slippage. Um, so you can purchase, you need the correct slippage. Now, for some reason, whenever I open up my pancake swap, my slippage screen is all kind of crazy you guys won't see the same thing i think it's something with my phone so it takes me a million times to get my slippage correct um, but guys this coin is not released yet but we're assuming the slippage is going to be around 10 to 15 percent so you will need to put in the slippage tolerance 10 to 15 percent and you'll see i get it here in one moment there we go So 
So now you can put your slippage in there. It won't be that hard for you guys. You'll probably get it in one click. My phone just likes to give me a hard time. So now that we have our slippage in at 10 to 15 percent, we're going to head back over to the main screen, exit out of here, and now normally you are going to see a buy button where it says insufficient liquidity because we're not live yet. But after that, you're going to click buy, you're going to swap, and then bam, guys, your Zelda Inu is in your trust wallet. And that is going to be how to purchase um, Zelda Inu, guys. So we hope you enjoyed this video and um, can't wait to uh, join you guys and join this community and everybody um, on an amazing journey. So hope you guys have a good night and we'll see you all later.